30 of the best female triathletes on the planet lined up for round five of the World Triathlon Championship Series. They'd all qualified a day earlier in this super sprint format. This is the first of three races with the bottom 10 eliminated in the first two of them. Cassandra Beaugrand had been brilliant in the heats and nothing changed here. The French woman, the only French woman here incidentally, was first out the water. Laura Lindemann and Janet Bragmeyer also started well, but not Lisa Tersh. A real issue you see there, centre of your screen. She didn't do the helmet up when she unwrapped the bike. That would mean a 10-second penalty and would end up proving very, very costly. A large group came together as they uh, left T2. No problem for Beau Grant or for most of the fancied runners come to that. Laura Lindemann looking very confident also. And the first 10 across the line no problem but the penalty that Tersh suffered meant that she failed to qualify in the end finishing 23rd Emma Jackson one of yesterday's heroines also out along with Gwen Jorgensen who finished in 30th place on to race two then the field now down to 20 and another 10 would be eliminated here and once again Beaugrand and Lindemann excellent in the water it looked like just another case of history repeating she complained about her transitions previously, had Beaugrand, but today they looked seamless. And once again, 19 women rode together. Pedersen was the one who wasn't with them. So once more, it was all about the run, just 1.75 kilometers the distance. Beaugrand decided to take it out from the front. The likes of Beth Potter, who'd won two races previously, happy just to jog home in fourth or fifth. It really didn't matter. Tenth was as good as first. The main casualties in this race, uh, Jeanne Lair, who's had an excellent season so far, Rachel Klamer, and Katie Zafirez, who had that incident with the bike, and she lost control of it in T2. On to the final then, and the world title at stake in the Super Sprint. A familiar story in the water, the likes of Vermeilen and Rappaport. Along with Beaugrant, were prominent. Taylor Spivey not too far away either. And once again, there appeared to be very little chance of a bike breakaway. It had rather been the pattern in the uh, women's races today, and it was exactly the same here. All ten of them were together as they came into T2. And with just a, a run over a mile or so, Beaugrant always looked the favourite. She started well. And she just went further and further away to win brilliantly. With Beth Potter able to hold off Lara Lindemann for the silver. The home crowd at least getting what they wanted, which was a German on the podium. And Lara Lindemann obliged. A little further down, a good fourth for Annika Koch. Another German, Gomez Gugel, in fifth. Uh, I think I wanted it so much, so I think I was like, it was not anger, but I was like, I just wanted to win today, like so much. I was thinking about that like for the last month, training and training hard and being like, I want this one. So I'm so happy with uh, today. Laura Lindemann's fifth career podium at the top level. Beth Potter Silver means she takes over at the top of the World Championship Series standings. And Cassandra Beaugrand's third ever gold, a quite brilliant performance from the French woman.